Hey guys and girls, this is Kyle here. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, I hope you enjoy this video. So today I'm just going to be explaining the uh, some theories and some common information that we already have uh, from the internet or you know Reddit or from uh, just my personal opinions. Uh, but I'll do a, a quick uh, description of uh, quite a few things in here, an explanation of what I think should, uh, might appear. So firstly, um, probably what you've seen on other YouTube videos and Reddit that the Saber is now flight ready and I've been trying to do a video for uh, when the first iteration of PTU came out which I was lucky enough to be invited and I've been flying the Saber since. Um, it's been somewhat changed in each iteration, like, uh, the role, the pit, the yaw has all been changed because it has, it's not flying the way it should do, especially for the description of the ship or the mass or the size of the ship. Um, but I think at the current PTU patch, which is B for Bravo, it, it flies amazing. And it flies, uh, you know, somewhat the way the description should do. Um, there has been issues, obviously, as I said, the, the way it's been flying. But there's also a major issue with the engines overheating and being able to cut out. You see now there's, the ship flies away really, really fast. And the top speed is 260. Um, so it flies uh, pretty fast, it's, it's pretty maneuverable as well now, which uh, I'm really impressed with. The second ship I'll be talking about is the Carterwell, which you'll see in the top left of the uh, video. And it is also known as the Xeon uh, Scout ship. It looks uh, really beautiful, um, I can't wait for the ship to come out, it nearly took two years to come out I believe. But on the landing platform as it is, it does look like it's, it reminds me of a, a hot rod, like motorcycle. Um, you know, the back end is quite wide and the front is like, you know, going to be where the tire is. But I'm not sure, but that's that's the way I think it looks like. Um, and the colour scheme as well. Obviously there's no yellow. But I do believe it's uh, going to be a really impressive ship to fly. It's going to be hard to hit as well. Um, so what we're going to talk now is the Crusader map. And the Crusader map basically has been rechanged uh, to the 2.2. Uh, the planets have been resized. The locations of the camera stations have also been uh, replaced. Uh, I'm not sure to what you know extent, um, but it it seems what you know closer, if anything. And I don't know what the outcome is for, but we'll see. Um, also, what I'd like to talk about is the new concept ships that have been uh, confirmed so far. I'm not sure if they'll be out this year, um, like the end of the year, but hopefully it'll come out by the end of the PTU or somewhat sometime in the mid year. Uh, the three ships are going to be two Drake Interplanetary Manufacturer ships and one RSI, Robert Space Industries, and we'll just talk about that now. The RSI one will be the light corvette ship, which is similar to the Idris, but a more combat focused ship. Uh, so it'll be more maneuverable and whatnot. And it's, uh, the name going, has been going around called Polaris. And it hasn't been confirmed, but at the moment it's called Polaris. Uh, now if we move on to the Drake uh, ships, uh, there's one actually not a ship, it's more like... If you know DC, which you'll see the picture here, Lobo, he's got a space motorbike. Well that's what it's going to be, the Drake Dragonfly is going to be a space motorbike. But I think it'll be pretty cool to see how the space motorbikes are going to be used. And then the last ship that we're talking about is the Drake Buccaneer. It'll be similar to the Sabre, but not as fast as Nimble. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be in between the Hornet and the Sabre. If not, it's going to be somewhat like uh, a normal single sea fighter of some sort. Um, but that will be the only single sea fighter that the Drake manufacturer ships will have. And lastly, um, last two points will be the Star Marine. As you can probably see on the uh, some YouTube videos, Star Marine has been shown that you can actually access sometimes. Uh, and I think this might be a nice surprise at the end of 2.2 when it gets released, which would be pretty awesome. I think the current iteration of the animations, uh, the reloads, the weapons of the inside the PTUB is impressive and I can't see it not coming out pretty uh, anytime soon, it will be coming out soon. Uh, I think it will be the nice surprise that like the Vanguard was in the previous installment. And lastly I like to talk about the Reliant. Uh, the Reliant obviously hasn't been, uh, any details have been given out 
and I do believe that that may also be a nice surprise ship. It might be hangar ready and flight ready at the same time when this goes live. And that's something that I think will be impressive to actually fly in the sea because it's obviously way ahead in its grey box stage. It's got its textures, it's, it's got its animations, um, but they haven't shown anything. And I do believe it's going to be the uh, another surprise at the end of this. So it'll be the Sabre and the, the Lions that will be flight ready. And obviously the Xeon Scout and the Lions will be hangar ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick description of all the news that I've seen and theories, and I'll see you guys next time.